Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making an eggplant dish. And um, it's just a baked eggplant. It's very good. Right now we've all got eggplants in our garden. And if we don't, they're plentiful in the stores. So that's what I am doing. I've got my ground beef started. Um, <clears throat> I may save this for something else. So we start out. Now if you are like us, there's only two of us. So I'm going to cut my recipe back a little bit. But we're going to have everything posted down below that you need. All the ingredients and everything. Um, so I'm going to be doing mine a little bit smaller in amount of ingredients though so but um, first I want to take the opportunity to say that the tragedy down in Florida and up the coast is just terrible and our hearts and prayers go out to each and every one that is in that I know we all have friends and family probably there. Um, a lot of us have family that go there for the winter and some have family that live there. And the ones that don't, you know, a lot of people have lost their homes, lost everything. So just be in prayer for all of them. I know I have family there that they lost the whole roof off their home, and so if they lost that, they've probably lost everything. And uh, just thankful that they aren't hurt, but they've had several killed. So just remember them in your thoughts and prayers, will you? Because it's going to be a long time before they get that cleaned up and everyone gets back to life again down there as they knew it. So just remember them. In your prayers please okay I am going to start with my onion I've got my hamburger started uh, ground beef and um, I'm going to be adding my onion to it right now so that I can get it started uh, frying Get it brown, get it a little softened up. And then I'm going to also add <clears throat> the tomatoes, diced tomatoes to it. And um, Use the nuts of your choice. Now, I'm using almonds. Um, you can use whatever you want. I'll put down there what the recipe, what, you know, they say. But I like recipes that I can change a little bit and um, make it my own. So I'm using almonds. And we're going to take a half a cup and we're going to add that in. It might have been a little more than a half a cup because I uh, used all that was in the bag. Wanted to use them all, so, but that's the advantage of making the recipe your own. Get this cooking. I think winter is upon us. I keep saying. I don't want winter, which I don't mind winter. I just don't like the ice. But I don't think I'm going to complain too much with everything that the Florida families have to deal with. I'll just be quiet. Okay, now I've got that in there and I need to put... Um, 
let's see, pepper, salt and pepper. I'm having to look at my recipe. I really am. It's been a while since I've made this. Um, I need some salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to let it cook. I think I need to put some more pepper in my container. There we go. Let that cook and get kind of thick there. Um, thicken up some. Okay. Get my hands cleaned up a little bit. Okay, and then I am going to Chop up some garlic cloves. I was shopping yesterday and I found the biggest garlic cloves, the nicest ones. So I'm really glad to get rid of these so I can start working with those. They're beautiful. All I know is some farmer sure had some nice ones. I got them out at the Amish farm barn. They usually have some of the nicest things out there. So right now it's pumpkin and season and all the nice eggplants and everything. So be able to get a lot of nice things. I know I want to get a couple more eggplants and get them froze so I'll have some for this winter. I'm going to put a little bit of this in here too. And then I'm going to chop up a couple more for my eggplant. yesterday when we were buying these one of the ladies working at the counter said are those good <laughs> you know why would you buy them if they weren't good but she's never tried them I guess and I'm like they're delicious so okay I'm going to start out by putting my garlic here in the um my little container, along with my um, other spices that I'm going to use on my eggplant. I got to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to take my eggplants. I'm going to score these so that we get all the juicy flavors and everything down in them as they bake. We're going to bake these for 20 minutes um, before we um, put our hamburger and stuff on them. and put them in the dish because I know I'm going to be sloppy and spill some of it. So I might as well have it in my dish already. I think I'm done chopping. At least I hope I am. And then I'm going to add Just 
a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Give that a quick stir. Oh, that smells so good. The hamburger and the garlic. Mm, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, and then we're going to add some paprika. I'm going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Like I said, I'll have all this posted down below because I'm sure I'll add something and forget to say it. And a teaspoon of cum. Looks like I'm just... Well, I may add a little bit more because that's the end of it. Time to open another one. And then, now this is something that's optional, um, is the red pepper. Now, I, um, I'm going to add very little. So, instead of a teaspoon, I added very little. So, we will leave that up to you, how much you want to add. And then I'm going to... Stir it up a little bit so we get all of it stirred up good. I think I'll turn my burner down. Mm. Mm, that smells good. Yum, yum. Okay. And then I had some, I had a teaspoon of fennel seeds inside in this already, in my dish already. So then we're just going to sprinkle this on our, see I knew I'd spill it. I think it's the fennel seeds is what I'm spilling. And we'll just get them up in there eventually. Okay. Get those spices on there real good. Oh, those smell so good together. Mm. Garlic. As y'all know, I love garlic. Okay. All right. A piece of garlic thought it was going to get away, and it didn't. I have my oven prepared at 425. I'm going to set this in there for 20 minutes. And then I'll bring you all back. I'm back and we have everything finished um, my sauce is cooked you cook your sauce till it kind of thickens up just a little bit it'll be depending on really how much um, how your tomatoes are some people will use their home canned tomatoes. You can buy tomatoes. You can use tomatoes fresh out of your garden. Oh, this smells so, so good. Um, but whatever to your choice is what you'll use. Um... Now my eggplant smells so good. Uh, the eggplant will, I don't think mine took quite as long because mine was, you know, you'll pre-cook your eggplant, pre-bake, not cook, your eggplant. And then I guess I need to scoot that out a little bit so I don't knock this pan off. And once you have it, 
all cooked, baked rather, then you will fill it with your hamburger and dressing that you had made. Mm. You know I had to do that. It just tastes so good. That garlic and all those spices. Oh my goodness. Does that smell and taste scrumptious. Mmm. That is going to be delicious. Mm, yum, yum. Okay. After you get that, your hamburger and tomato and onions and everything on there, just set that aside. Mm. Greg's always telling me, Mom, clean up your dish. So I did. And I ate it. And then you can garnish it with your cheese. Do you use the cheese of choice. Some people may like something you may not like. So I'm going to use two different cheeses. Oh, smash that down good. Get that down in there. Mm -mm -mm. Some Parmesan cheese. That looks scrumptious. Now, um, I had that in the oven just a little less than 20 minutes because I had already baked my eggplant and it was all baked so I just needed to get all the flavors of my spices down in there. Mm. I'm going to set that back in the oven just for a couple minutes to let that cheese kind of start to melt a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. And while that's in the oven, I want to take the opportunity to remind you to pray for our friends and all the people in Florida and along the coast and everywhere where the, the the hurricane went, went through at because we're sitting down to a nice meal. And I'll tell you, those people probably wish they were. They've lost their homes. They've lost everything. Our thoughts and prayers go out to them. And just remember them in your prayers now because they just don't have anything left. Some of them lost everything they had. Um, we saw where the water had come up and totally flattened the whole town almost. Um, my cousin's home was, the roof was taken off and um, so I'm sure everything inside was burnt by the time they get back. But they have their lives, so they can be thankful for that. And there's just so many people. The senior citizens, where do they go from here? Please, please remember them in your prayers. Okay. There we go. Didn't take but a minute to melt that. Boy, does that look good. Ooh, so yummy. So yummy. Mmm. 
just beautiful. Garnish it a little bit. That is beautiful and it smells delicious. I can't wait to taste it. I know it's going to be hot. I know it's going to be hot. But you know me, I'm going to taste it anyway. I can get the top, but I want some of that. Some of those. Spices, those flavors. Mmm. Oh, that looks so good. So yummy. Mm. Oh my. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. So good. Mm. You'll want to make this more than once, that's for sure. You get your whole meal in one hot item. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. That is so good. I'm going to have one more. So, you've got your flavors are all Cook down in there. Mm. You got your seasonings, your spices, your onion. Everything's all cooked in there. Everything's right down inside. Oh my goodness. I just really think that that piece right there is calling my name. I know it is. <laughs> I deserve to burn my mouth. Try it. I know you've got eggplants now. Mm. That is delicious. Oh, that is so good. Try it. I have all the ingredients posted down below. And if you have any questions, let us know. I changed it from some of the regular ingredients to make it my own. You do the same. Let me know what you think. And um, have a great week. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you, bunches. Mm -hmm.